Um, so as Curtis just mentioned, my name is Alexander Loznak. I'm 19 years old, uh, and I'm a student at Columbia University in New York City. Uh, first, I would just like to applaud and say thank you to all of my co-plaintiffs, including especially Dr. James Hansen, as well as our legal team, all of our supporters, all of you, for your incredible work today. I am so proud to be standing here with you. Thank you so much. So, although I came here from New York to attend this hearing, I actually grew up on my family's farm in Southern Oregon. Now, my great, 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 great grandmother, Martha Maupin, founded that farm almost 150 years ago after she crossed the Oregon Trail. Just like generations of Oregonians and Americans, she worked hard so that her children might live a better life. And ever since Martha's time, my family has preserved, each generation of my family has preserved our farm and protected it, passed it on to the next. Uh, but today, my great, 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 great grandmother's legacy is threatened by the changing climate, by droughts and fires and heat waves that threaten to do, undo all of the work my family has put into our land. So I'm standing here to demand that our federal government act with the same courage and vision that my ancestor Martha employed and preserve our planet just as my family has preserved our farm. The government's actions to worsen climate change are inconsistent with our most deeply held moral values. Every day at Columbia, I see the monuments to the founders of our country, like Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton. And I wonder what would the founders want if they could see us here today? I believe they would want us to win this case in order to preserve the Constitution and the nation they created. Because just as my family's farm is threatened by climate change, so too are the very stability and vitality of our country. Now, in, in the Constitution, uh, sorry, uh, breath. In, in the Constitution, um, our founders embedded some of the same values that my ancestor Martha lived by. As our legal team has pointed out, the, uh, they designed our nation to endure for posterity, with each generation preserving the country for the next. We are here to demand that our present government not abandon that design. President Obama has acknowledged that climate change may define the contours of this century more than any other issue. And I realized that climate change was going to define my life when I was 12 years old and I hiked to the top of a mountain in northern Washington. And there I saw massive glaciers retreating. It's, that's when I realized that we have set in motion, through our fossil fuel emissions, we have set in motion the greatest of natural forces. And those forces now threaten all that we hold dear. Our generation will be remembered either for our struggle to survive climate impacts or by the common resolve we muster as we rise to this moment and move forward with all deliberate speed. Our nation's history and traditions, the history of my family, give me hope for the future. I'm filled with optimism by the group standing before you. And I really believe this case will be a turning point in my generation's fight for climate justice. Thank you so much.